friends, I'm Rich Larson and I'm the IRC Tire Guy. Today we're going in depth with my personal tire setup and the customizations that I do on my Moose Bibs. Again, I use Moose Bibs because I can't afford to get a flat when I'm competing. Moose Bibs are heavy, expensive, and there's very little adjustability. When riding and competing in Extreme Enduro, I, along with other riders, really want a soft feel on their tires. Obviously, the harder the tire is, the less traction you get in extreme situations. That's why the new emerging market of gummy tires is so popular. But there is an important caveat. A gummy tire is only as good as its internal setup. A gummy tire won't perform as well at 20 PSI as it will at 4 PSI. That's a common problem with a brand new Moose bib. When it's first installed, it usually feels around 12 to 15. There is a wear-in period. When I first started running Moose bibs, I would run one until it hit that sweet spot of soft traction. Then I would set it aside for an upcoming race. That is an option and a way to save money. When you get into customizations like cutting and drilling holes, the moose tends to wear a lot faster. But in those cutting and drilling customizations, you can fine tune an exact feel for an upcoming race. So there is a give and a take. I run a 110-100 size moose. That is the same size tire that I run. If you stuff a larger moose into a smaller tire, it will last longer, but you will lose traction. That's okay for longevity for a trail rider or desert racer setup. But for extreme enduro, the speeds don't get high enough to heat up and disintegrate the moose. So my mooses tend to last a little bit longer. Let's get into some of the customizations that I've tested. This is a moose that I've drilled holes in. As you can see, it's very warm. Again, when you do these type of customizations, the mooses tend to wear out a lot faster. It definitely gives a tire that softer feel that you're looking for, that four to six PSI range. I like this setup because it completely fills the tire. So it's better for a softer carcass tire like the IX09W Gakota. Now, this is another customization that I've tested. I actually saw a couple Europeans running this, so I figured I'd try it out. As you can see, I've cut the rounded end off the top of the moose. This way, it presses out on the sidewall of the tire, but leaves room for the contact patch to flex. I like this setup because it has the flex for the technical situations, but it still presses out on that sidewall for the corners. This is a recommended setup for the VE33S Gakota, which is a harder carcass tire. Again, these options can get expensive because the moose tends to wear twice as fast after customization. Now, there is this new soft option from Nitro Moose. Their soft moose is advertised as four to six PSI out of the box. When I tested it, brand new, it was around six to eight. For the guys who can't afford to customize and then buy a new moose every month, this is a great option for a soft feel right out of the box. I have tested these and they do work well, especially for higher speed extreme enduro or enduro cross. I like this option because it offers a softer feel but still fills the tire. I still like the customization performance for really extreme riding, but I do understand that that can get expensive. In the comments, let us know your preferred tire setups. Don't forget to subscribe and until next time, keep shredding.